Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about the best spark plugs for your car's engine and why they are the best ones. Now over the past hundred something years, spark plugs do one basic thing in a gasoline engine. They fire the air or fuel mixture so there's an explosion that pushed the pistons down. Now the early spark plugs, hey, they didn't fire all that great. The really early ones, you could actually take them apart into different pieces, clean them, fix them, put them back together and use them over. And after that, for decades and decades, most spark plugs had copper electrodes in them. Copper is a good conductor of electricity, so they would conduct the electricity and make the spark that would fire the gasoline air mixture. But if you know anything about copper, Hey, it may conduct electricity quite well, but it's extremely soft. So what happens is, it would wear out in a reasonably short period of time. Back in the day, when I was a young mechanic, hey, you'd be lucky if you got 20,000 miles out of a set of spark plugs. Sometimes we had to change them even closer if it was an engine that was worn and burned some oil. So they didn't last all that long. Then they went to platinum spark plug, because platinum, hey, it's much harder. It keeps its sharper edge long. And where the spark plugs fire, you want a sharp edge for the spark to fire correctly. Platinum spark plugs can easily last 100,000 miles. And another advantage of the platinum spark plugs is, they generally run a little bit hotter than the copper plugs do. It's so running hotter, they burn the deposits that get on your spark plug off better, so the spark plugs can last a lot longer. Even if your spark's firing right, if it gets clogged up with on burned carbon parts, it won't fire right. But then came iridium spark plugs, the top of the line ones now. Iridium is six times harder than platinum, so it lasts even longer. Plus it has a 700 degree hotter melting point than the platinum does. So they can last an awful long time, these iridium spark plugs. I've personally seen some Chevy V8 engines that had 200,000 miles on them, and the iridium plugs had never been changed, and it still ran fine. Now, of course, the iridium ones cost more, but hey, the price keeps coming down. Now you can usually get them for seven or eight dollars a piece. And there's a big reason that many engines now use iridium plugs from the factory. And that's because they're making spark plugs harder and harder to get to. As an example, this Lexus behind me is a V6. The front three cylinders are real easy to get to. They're out in the open, the front three, simple to get to. But the back three are under the intake manifold. And you have to take the intake manifold plenum completely off to get to those three spark plugs. It is a gigantic job. And there's many modern engine designs that are even worse than that. Some of them you practically have to pull the engine out of the car to change all the spark plugs. So Iridium makes sense. If you can get 200,000 miles out of a set of spark plugs, hey, most people are going to be happy with that. Now the copper, then the platinum, then the Iridium, those are the three main plugs that go into cars. But there are a bunch of these wild and crazy manufacturers to design plugs that have four electrodes or are made out of even different materials and they claim they boost your horsepower and make you get better gas mileage well stay away from that stuff it's just nonsense now ages and ages ago a spark plug design could have made a change like in the 60s where you had points and condensers just mechanically opening and closing and firing the spark plugs through the distributor a lot of those systems didn't have all that much power. And if you replaced the stock spark plug and O's with one that fired better, they would have actually run better. But it's been decades and decades since there's points and condensers. All the systems are electronically controlled now. The stock spark plug that comes with the car is what's designed for the car and will generally work best. Again, it's 94 Celica. Hey, it's got electronic ignition in it. The stock nip and denso is the best plug for it. It was designed by engineers. It's the right fit. And speaking of the right fit, let me tell you a horror story. Years ago, I had a customer come over with a 300Z Nissan sports car, and it was clacking like mad. And I said, well, when did this start? And the guy said, well, I changed my spark plugs. And right after I changed the spark plugs, it started making all that noise. So I said, okay, let's stop right there. I pulled out one of the spark plugs. I looked at the spark plug, and I could see the top of the spark plug was hitting something. It had metal shiny parts on it where it was wearing. Well, nothing's supposed to touch the top of the spark plug in the engine. I went to my auto parts store and got a set of six spark plugs. And I measured them against the spark plug that I'd taken out. Well, it turned out that the spark plugs he installed 
were like this much higher. Instead of fitting flush like this, they stuck in the engine this much higher. And it was actually hitting the top of the pistons. It turns out he used a discount auto parts store and the software that they had, strangely enough, was typed up in South Korea. Who knows these days what kind of technology goes on. And one of those guys made a mistake and they said that these long spark plugs belonged in his car that had shorter spark plugs. They sold them the wrong ones. Now he was extremely lucky because he did it fast and brought it to me and I put in the right ones and after about a day of driving the noise went away. So it didn't really seem to have damaged it in the long run even though that noise was pretty rattling to his peace of mind when he started it up and heard it. So really you can't beat the stock spark plugs. Always try to get the same exact spark plug the car came with. And don't trust anybody. Take one of your old ones out. And when you take it out, you can either match the number, this has a big number on it, or at least when they sell it to you, match it up to make sure it's the same size and that's exactly the same length of threads as your old one. Because you don't want one that's too deep that's going to hit the pistons or one that's too shallow and it won't fire the flame correctly. Engineers spent years refining engine designs, refining the spark plugs that go in them. You're going against all that knowledge if you decide to swap out to a different spark plug. It has to be the right size and it has to be the correct heat range for normal driving. But that said, there is one exception. You had a car that say came with a platinum spark plug or a copper spark plug, you could upgrade to an iridium spark plug if an iridium spark plug is made that will fit in there. You're not going to get more horsepower, you're not going to get better gas mileage, but you're going to get longer life. Like in that Lexus, it didn't come with iridium plugs, but I put them in because it was such a pain to take that manifold off, I put in iridium spark plugs. Now I have to admit, the platinum spark plugs that I took out of it had nothing wrong with them. I had to take off the valve cover gasket on that side because even though it was a Lexus, things wear out eventually and it was 16 years old and the stupid little rubber gasket on the valve cover was leaking oil. I figured as long as I'm taking that manifold off so I could change the valve cover gasket, I'm going to change the spark plugs too. If they make an iridium spark plug that will fit in your engine when you go to an auto parts store and they look it up and you match it with the old one that's the same size, go right ahead and put an iridium version of the original spark plug. But don't think that there's some magic spark plug out there that's going to make your car run better by some crazy design that somebody thinks is going to work inside an engine better than what the engineers designed it for. And since this is Mechanic Monday, I'm giving away a set of original equipment spark plugs. To have a chance to win, just place a clean non-offensive comment on the YouTube comments below and the winner will be chosen randomly by a computer to get brand spanking new original equipment spark plugs for their car's engine. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.